Morning. Man, it's great to be back in the shop today. I spent last week up in Pismo Beach surfing, skimboarding, eating barbecue at Moe's, sandwiches at High Street, roasted corn at the Avila Valley Farm. Uh, honestly, there's almost no place I'd rather be than Pismo. But if I can't be in Pismo at the beach, this is where I want to be, uh, back in the workshop. And it's a good thing I am because it's the 1st of October and this great guitar build-off has to be done by October 17th. And I'm way behind. So we got a lot of work to do today. We got bodies to work on. We got tops to work on. We got necks to work on. We got fretboards somewhere around here to work on. And uh, hopefully we can get a bunch done today. So let's go. All right, so the first thing we gotta do is get these tops in shape. They need to be thickness. They need to be cut to shape to fit on the bodies. Uh, they're gonna need some routes for pickups and things like that, so let's get to work on that. Got my tops to thickness. Uh, on the maple, I went to uh, just a tad over four millimeters. I'm gonna use that on the body with the um, magnetic pickups because uh, I went a little thicker because that doesn't need to resonate, right, with the magnetic pickups. Um, there's, and I won't get into the argument over whether uh, solid body electric guitars resonate or not, um, but I'm just gonna say that I didn't need this top to resonate because it's using magnetic pickups. Uh, however, on this other one that's using the transducer pickups, I need this top to resonate a little bit, uh, and I went down to uh, just a tad over two and a half millimeters uh, with the ash. So the ash is going on the sort of acoustic-ish electric, and the um, maple is going on the one that's getting the magnetic pickups. So I need to mark these out now, and uh, get them rough cut and start looking at the little F hole cut that's going in the side and I uh, just keep moving forward.
All right, so that's some good progress. We got our tops rough cut, ready to go onto the bodies. Uh, and then we can start thinking about how we're going to attach these necks uh, and get us a neck, neck pocket cut in there. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm ready to attach this one that's going to have the transducer pickups because I don't have my transducer pickups. And I sort of want to attach them to the underside of this top um, before I attach this top to this body. Now, I may end up with an access panel in the back anyway, so it may not matter, but I sort of want to wait. Um, but I don't know if that's going to put me behind with the next. I don't know. The thing is, it's hot and I've been working, oh, about half a day now and it's time for lunch and I'm starting to get, you know, sweaty, hangry. And that's the point when, for me, that's when I start making mistakes and uh, messing things up. So I'm gonna take a break, get something to eat. And then when I come back, we'll get back to this. All right, have a burger for the win. In fact, Let's take a moment of silence for all those people who live in a part of the country that don't have access to Habit Burger. Okay, that was long enough. But it is sad. I am sad for you guys uh, because Habit Burger is amazing. And that's what I had for lunch. It was delicious. So uh, back to work, though. I think what I have decided I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, not this one, I'm going to go ahead and attach the top for this one that's getting the magnetic pickups. Uh, so then I can start working on the neck uh, and attach that. And hopefully I will learn so much from cutting the neck pocket and attaching the neck, or not attaching, but making the, the bolt-on neck attachment uh, on that one, that when I'm ready to do it on this other one, it will go super fast. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and put some bracing on the underside of the top on this one, since uh, it is going to need a little bit of bracing since there's, it doesn't have this big block at the bottom that the one with the magnetic pickup is getting. So uh, we'll jump into that, uh, attach this top and put the bracing on this top. Uh, and then we'll come back and start working on actually uh, shaping the necks, which is my favorite part of almost any build. So uh, let's get to that, all right. Uh, so first of all, let me apologize. We lost a little bit of footage during the glue up uh, because it's roughly, uh, it's roughly a million degrees uh, here in the workshop. But because it's so hot, uh, my, my cameras, my phones that I use for filming keep overheating and shutting off. And, uh, and so I keep losing stuff. So I'm gonna try to not lose any more footage, but there it is, what are you gonna do? So. Um, We've got the uh, one body is glued up and drying. We've got braces on the other top that are drying. I'm gonna start working on necks. And uh, so what we need to do is we need to put our, our carve on the back, but we also need to set up for uh, our, our glue up where the, the neck will glue into the neck pocket, right, on the body. And, uh, and the blend in up here at the headstock. So what I've done here, is uh, I'm going to take this neck, I'm going to attach it to the body right here so that the 12th fret hits right here at the joint where the neck hits the body uh, because that's a pretty comfortable place for 12th fret. And if you turn this over from the back side, essentially it looks about like this. And uh, you can see I can, that I can mark where the neck hits the body right there. And then I give myself a little bit of leeway. So I'm gonna do my neck carve right down to about this line, about a quarter inch out. And then my blend up here at the headstock will follow this arc 
uh, right here with the two headstock curves and I'll blend that carve in with the headstock there. Now the nice thing is I can do that with both necks at the same time. I mean, not literally the same time, one after the other. Um, but the necks will essentially be exactly the same, even though the nature of the two instruments is a little bit different, the body shapes are the same, and the, the connections to, from the neck to the body will be the same. So I can go ahead and, and work on both of those necks while the glue's drying on those other things. So we'll jump right into that. It's 4.30, been out here all day. It's still 96 degrees in the workshop, so it's still hot, still sweaty, but we're making progress. So let's take stock of where we're at at this point. Uh, we've got both necks carved and uh, ready to be installed into their bodies, which is nice. We've got one, top with some bracing on it. So this is the one that's getting the transducer pickups, uh, almost like an acoustic, um, but more of a hollow body electric with nylon strings. So that goes with this and is going to sit tight until uh, our acoustic pickup comes in uh, from, from uh, whoever, UPS or whatever, either today Whew, it's 4.30, right? Either tomorrow or Tuesday. Uh, so that one will sit over here. And then we've got rah, this guy is ready to come out of the clamps. Uh, and then we're going to cut a neck pocket for one of these necks into this body. And if we can get that done and get the neck attached, uh, we'll go ahead and make a fretboard for this puppy too. Uh, it would be super nice if we can get that far completed today. So um yeah let's push forward hey everybody i know this feels like a little bit of a weird transition but i was editing this episode and it was just getting way too long so i'm going to divide it up into two we'll end this one here we'll pick up the next one right where we left off even though it feels like we sort of left off right in the middle of things but should be fine uh in the meantime though stay safe stay healthy get out there and do what you love we'll see you next time <laughs>